Well, welcome back to Local Lifestyles. Our favorite wedding planner, Sandra Hadley, is back now with us with tips today to figure out those venue floor plans. Good morning, Sandra. Good morning. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, we are always excited to have you. And and I know that, you know, any time of the year, there's always lots of weddings going on. You're busy. It doesn't really matter when we have our certain times of the year, of course, that are really busy, but it just really doesn't matter anymore. So we want to talk today about those floor yeah. plans. Now, kind of tell us first, where in the planning process should this like be in your mind? Where does this come into play? Well, I think you're going to take it into consideration even when you first start looking for a venue. And I know this isn't really a fun topic, but mm -hmm. this has really come up the last couple of weekends for myself as a seasoned professional. So I thought I'd share a few tips to people. But when you're going to a venue, you know, someone may say, the venue person that's selling it, the space, hey, we can fit 300 people here. Well, I think you need to ask more questions. Is mm -hmm. that for a wedding with a dance floor? And if you have a buffet you know, table, where's the bars? Or is that theater style seating? I'm running into problems where people are inviting the max amount of people and then they're not able to fit everybody in there for a wedding. So that can be really, really challenging. So it almost sounds um, like the venue sometimes can be a little misleading when they're giving you some of that information at first. Yeah. I think they're giving the max seating, and I right. just think you just need to ask, ask more questions, mm -hmm. especially depending on your wedding, whether you're uh, serving a plated meal or you want a buffet. Um, and of course, if, what if you have a tent? I mean, there is no venue coordinator for that. So when you're looking at your floor plan, you want to make sure that you are, and by floor plan, I mean, you're taking um, an application or a sheet of paper, and you're actually maneuvering where everything's going to go for your wedding. You need to take into consideration the movement and flow. There's got to be some, you might be packing them in, but there's got to be some aisleways for guests to move across the room. Or how about around a bar? You have to give a lot of space for that because people line up and they chat and they, you know, talk and they line up to get a, you know, a beverage. So you need to make sure you remember that um, when doing so, um, your floor plan. Yeah, exactly. So many great tips and things we may not think about right away, but like you said, you know, and once you book the venue, then you've booked the venue. So then you're, yeah. then you're kind of stuck. So you want to think of these things early. Is there, are there anything, any ways online that you can look to kind of get help or get ideas or things that you maybe you should also be thinking about? Well, I think you need to also always check with the venue coordinator or double check with your caterer, but there are some on, free online um, floor plans that you can do, allseated.com, A-L-L, seated.com, mm -hmm. social tables. But if you don't put in the exact room dimensions into the software, then it's just you throwing circles around or, or long rectangles. Mm -hmm. it, it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. And so what I recommend you doing is put that in, then take that and go back to the venue and actually walk it off and maybe measure it off because sometimes it doesn't always come out right. And what you don't want to have happen is a Friday or a Saturday morning you're setting up and you don't have enough room. And oh my gosh. Everything is thrown off. Bah, disaster, yes. <laughs> Panic, know, right? right? Sets in. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sandra. These were great tips this morning, and you gave us a whole lot to think about and some ways to uh, make sure we don't uh, get into some of those uh, sticky situations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank